Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This this is week two assignment of the course Introduction to Machine Learning. Guys, for the past five years, we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses, including machine learning as well. So thousands of students we have helped, guys. So these are completely our probable solutions. So please watch the video till then. Don't skip the video because if you make any in between changes, you can be able to know that. So definitely subscribe our channel, guys, and please share this with your friends and classmates in your WhatsApp college groups. And definitely like the video. Then only our video will reach much more students so that they will also get benefited like you, right? So let's see the first question. In a linear regression model, y equals theta naught plus theta one x one so on so on theta p x p. What is the purpose of adding an intercept theta naught? So they are asking about this one. So it's a constant, right? So for first question, the answer is third option. The probable solution is third one. To adjust for the baseline level of the dependent variable when all the predictors are zero. So mark third option as the probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Which of the following is true about the cost function, that is objective function, used in linear regression? So for second question, also once again, third option is the probable solution, guys. It measures the sum of square differences between predicted and actual values. So mark third option as the probable solution for second equation. Now let's move on to the third question. Which of these would most likely indicate that lasso regression is a better choice than rich regression? So for third question, fourth option is the probable one only a few features are totally relevant next fourth question which of the following conditions must hold for the least squares estimator in linear regression to be unbiased so for fourth question once again the errors must have a mean of zero for third option. Next, fifth one. So before getting into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So these are past NPTEL assignment questions along with the explanations, guys. So for the machine learning course, we have collected the exam preparation MCQs with five years of NPTEL experience. So you will get a huge number of 600 plus MCQs, more than 600 MCQs along with explanations for just 500 rupees only. That is also up to five members can use that. For 500 rupees, up to five members can use that same PDF for 500 rupees, guys. So the validity will be till the exam results day. Search option is also provided. Explanation is also there, guys, and it is also easy to revise. So, if you are confirmed to make the purchase, then mail me to this email ID bk179417 at the rate gmail.com. So, already many students have taken our pack, guys. So, this is the mail ID bk179417 at the rate gmail.com. If you are confirmed to make the payment, then only mail us, guys. So, this is the so 300 uh, 600 plus mcqs you'll get for just 500 rupees only up to five members can use that this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com so that's it guys so please share this news with your friends and classmates so please form groups of five members and get this pack for just 100 each even if you are one person no need to worry guys you can take this pack so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions So fifth question, oh, so fifth question is, when performing linear regression, comma, which of the following is most likely to cause overfitting? So for fifth question, second option is the probable solution, including irrelevant predictors in the model. 
Next, sixth question. You have trained a complex, complex regression model on a data set to reduce its complexity. You decide to apply rich regression using a regularization parameter. How does the relationship between bias and variance change as lambda becomes very large? Select the correct option. So for sixth question, the probable solution is third option guys. Bias is high, variance is low. Next, moving on to the seventh one. Given a training data set of 10,000 instances with each input instance having 12 dimensions and each output instance having three dimensions, the dimensions of the design matrix used in applying linear regression to this data is So, 12 plus 1, 13, 13 into number of instances, 10,000. So, it is third option, guys. Next, eighth question. So, for eighth question, I have got the probable solution as fourth option. X power t into x, x theta equals x power t into y. So mark fourth option as the probable solution for eighth question. Now let's move on to the ninth one guys. Which of the following scenarios is most appropriate for using partial least squares regression instead of ordinary least squares? So for ninth question, second option is the probable one guys. When there is, when there is, a, when there is, uh, when there is significant multicollinearity, among predictors or the number of predictors exceeds the number of samples. And moving on to the final one, final question of the assignment, uh, week two assignment. Consider forward selection, backward selection, and the best subset selection with respect to the same data set. Which of the following is true? So for 10th and final question, first option is the probable one is best subset selection can be computationally more expensive than forward selection. So mark option one, first option is the probable solution for 10th question. So friends, these are the probable solutions for week two assignment of introduction to machine learning course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel. Definitely like the video and definitely purchase this huge number of 600 plus MCQs PDF pack. It's a restricted Google Drive ring pack. So 600 plus MCQs for just 500 rupees only. Up to five members can use that. This is the mail ID to mail me, guys. BK179417 at gmail.com. I'll give the same email ID in the description box as well. So that's it, guys, for this video. So please share this news with your friends and classmates and do purchase this PDF pack, guys. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you, guys.